Hello, students. Good evening, how are you? Good evening, Miss. Hello, welcome to another day, another class, another week. It is a pleasure for me to be with you once again, and for sure, to have the opportunity to share another class with you. How was your weekend? Bad. Bad, really, why? I am, uh, how do you say, enferma? I am sick, you say. I am sick, very mm. sick. But what, what do you have, COVID? Um, eh, supuestamente es infección en la garganta, pero me anda matando hasta el dolor de los huesitos. Oh my God. Pediré permiso de no encender mi cámara hoy porque estoy acostada. Okay, we understand. That's the word, sick. It's in the chat. Well, we understand. It is, it is very terrible. My little kid is, is sick too. So it's like everywhere right now. Good night, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you? Perdón, Heidi, no la escuché. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Ese, soy Maritza. Quería yes. pedirle permiso para las ocho y media porque a esa hora tengo una reunión. Ah, ok. No sé si me puede dar permiso para a esa hora poder yo estar en la reunión, pero me tendría que salir de las clases. Okay, okay, I understand. Le, okay, no tenga pena, solo este, asegúrese de ver la otra mitad en la grabación para que no se pierda nada de lo que vamos a ver ahora. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, so we are going to work today. I hope you have had the chance to work in the platform. ¿Tuvieron el chance de avanzar en la plataforma? Yes. Yes, okay. So yes. it is not really complicated, but if you have difficulties or problems in something, Remember that uh, we can help you, right? In any case, we can help you. Well, today we are going to work a little bit on uh, the review of last class, and we are going to go over the different sections of the house, right? We are going to study the parts of the house, and um, we are going to work on that tonight, okay? This is our class number five. And I'm going to share my screen for you to be able to see it. There you go. And I think it's this one. Okay, but before we continue, in the previous class, we were working with different uh, types of verbs, how to transform the verbs into third person, right? Different activities that we do every day. So, what I am going to do right now, before I continue with the presentation, I am going to share some pictures and you are going to tell me sentences with a, the specific picture that I am going to show you, right? So what sentence can you invent by looking at this picture? ¿Qué oración se les ocurre al ver la foto que les estoy mostrando? Como las oraciones que estuvimos haciendo la semana pasada. Okay, like I cook, I clean, I, I eat, I... What will be the sentence for this picture? He is chef. Aha, but what is a sentence for this? He, what is the action that he is doing? He? He, he does... He, he is the um, Aha, uh -huh, he's cooking, right? That's an action with present continuous. But with simple present, Maximo, you raise your hand. He cook a soup. He cooks soup. A soup, a soup. Exactly. He cooks soup, right? If we are using the structure that we learned the last week, so I am going to send you the example on the chat. It will be he cooks soup, right? He cooks Soup, that will be the first one. What about the next one? I'm going to show you another one. Let me see, this one. Oh, 
what sentence will you create with this one? What is he doing? Do you know the name of this activity? Maximo, go ahead. He is keys. He is keys, right? He is keys. And what about the next one? Shopping. She goes shopping, right? She goes shopping. shopping. She goes shopping. What about this one? He feeds the cat. He feeds the cat. Fantastic. He feeds the cat. Well, this is easy. She plays the piano. She plays the piano. Thank you very much. Another easy one. He plays. He guitar. plays. He plays the guitar, right? Or he plays guitar. Good. What about this one? And I'm going to give a name. Let's see. I am going to assign the following. And everybody will be like, no, no, no. But yes, I am going to assign it. This one is going to be for Patricia. He is uh -huh. the brain. Heidi wants to help you. Mm. <laughs> Creo que es así, vea. He is the painter. Uh -huh. he's, he's a mm -hmm. painter. It's a good sentence, but with the simple present, Maximo was raising his hand. He paints. He paints the house, the wall. right? He paints the house, the wall, etc. Let me see. This one is for Iris. Si nos trabamos, nos ayuda el público. Ha, she, uh, what is the action? She, Lo vimos cuando hablamos de los medios de transporte. ¿Qué dice el público? ¿Cómo le ayuda más? Bicycle. She takes. She rides. She rides, mm -hmm. right? Tin, tin, tin. <laughs> she rides, right? Remember, bike. drive is for the car. Ride is for the bicycle and take is for the bus. This is, she rides a bike. Good, very good. This is an easy one. It's going to be for Tirsa. Ready? The microphone, Tirsa. He's swimming. Ah, oh, he's swimming in simple present. Only the S in the verb, he. He's swimming in there. Ajá. Uh -huh. Si sí, el verbo es swim y le vamos a agregar solamente S al verbo porque estamos haciendo una oración en simple present, ¿cómo nos queda la oración? ¿Qué dice el público? ¿Quién le ayuda? He swims. He swims. He swims. He swims. Very good. Yeah, todos te ayudan aquí, Teresa. Tú no te preocupes. What about the next one? This is going to be for Rosario. He is. Ajá. Uh -huh. What is the name of this action, people? Sing. Y... Well, when you go to the theater, cuando estás en el teatro, ¿qué haces? Este, um, he is... Three, two, one. ¿Qué dice el público? Action. Uh, act. Okay, I, I can I can see this one is a difficult one. It's act, right? Act. A C T. And in this case, is he acts, right? He acts. And if we want to give a complete sentence, like he acts in the theater, 
on Sundays, for example, right? There you go. Let's see the next one. This one is going to be for Arving. Arving. In English, corporative. She, she, she sings. She sings, right? She sings. And let's see, this one is a challenging. Uh -huh. Anybody who knows it, cualquiera que la sepa. She fixes. She fixes, very good. What is she fixing? She fixes what? The TV. She fixes the TV, right? Very good. She fixes the TV. And what about this one, Cynthia Rivera? I have, I have forgotten. <laughs> okay. How, how we can say that activity? Um, watch. Uh, ah, watches. He watches. He so, washes the clothes, right? He, he washes, washes the clothes. clothes. Si quisiéramos hacer una oración más grande, más allá de he washes the clothes, ¿qué más le podríamos poner? He washes the clothes. ¿Ideas? He washes the clothes when? On, the on Sunday. On Sundays the in the afternoon. In the afternoon. Very good. On Sundays or in the afternoon. What about this one? And this one is for Luis Arevalo. Yes. They dancing. Uh, in the normal form of the verb, they? They dance. They dance, right? Remember, y alguien encendió la lavadora por ahí. They dance. <laughs> <laughs> what about the next one? This is for everybody. He? He cooks. He cooks. Cook. He cooks. When? Cuando? He cooks. He cook every day. Every day for... Uh, what is the public? Who is he cooking for? Para quien cocina? He, for the family. He for cooks. The he cooks every parents. day for the family, for the parents, parents for the enough. customers. Very good. And what about the kids? What are the kids doing? The kids? Plays. Play. Play. Ah, the kids. Si es un plural, recuerden que no lo cambiamos. The kids play where? In the park. When? On Saturday. Oh, Very on good. Saturday. Very good. Let's see. The last one. Turn, turn, turn. It's going to be this one. Invent a sentence for him. He plants a rose. He plants a rose, right? He plants a rose or he plants flowers. That's very good. Excellent students, right? Yeah, you see, you were working together and we did it. We did it together. That was very, very, very good. So we are going to continue now. You see, from one sentence, you can start creating a little bit more. Don't stay just with one thing. If you say, she cleans, what? The house, when? On Saturdays. Who helps her? Ah, her family. Uh, why does she do it? Because she's very organized. So we can invent more and more questions from one thing. Okay, so today we're going to study the parts of the house, as I told you a little bit uh, um, some moments ago. And we need to remember or agreements, right? Remember to practice your English as much as possible. That's the first one. Ask for help whenever you need. If you are working in the platform and you get stuck and you need help, ask. Uh, keep your cameras on all the time. Yes, only we have permission for one that it's kind of sick. Uh, participate as much as possible. Keep a cooperative attitude during class and for sure, collaborate with your friends on the WhatsApp group. It is very important that when you receive uh, these formal messages from Inglés Corporativo, you have to answer and to say like, entendido, enterado, gracias por la información, right? Creo que esa es una, una norma de, de cordialidad que las tenemos que remarcar siempre. Es cierto que a veces andamos como corriendo con todo, pero cuando nos envían un mensaje, ya sea que lo envíe un compañero eh, pidiendo ayuda, si podemos ayudar, ayudamos. 
pero si nos envían un mensaje, por ejemplo, de, de inglés corporativo con algo informativo, eh, yo siempre les recomiendo a mis estudiantes que contestemos. Entendido, enterado, muchas gracias por la información, o aunque sea un like o un sticker o no sé, algo, pero para que también los facilitadores, ya eh, los encargados, se enteren de que usted está enterado de la información. Así que ese fue el comercial de la noche. Contestemos ahí los mensajitos, aunque sea con un like. Entendido, gracias. Para que ya lo marquen como que usted se enteró de la información. Así que ahí les, de, les dejo el tip. So, the question for the night. Do you live in a small house or in a big house? In a small house. I small live in a small house. Excellent, excellent answer, right? Siempre me gusta que nos corrijamos entre nosotros. You say like, do you live in a small house or in a big house? A small teacher. No, I live in a small house. Good. So in the case of Luis, he lives in a small house. What about Heidi? Do you live in a small house or in a big house? Um, the, uh, I live a small, a small, no. I live in a small house. I live in a small house. It is? Tirsa? I live in a small house. Cynthia? Oh, the microphone, Cynthia, was off. Sorry. <laughs> I live in a small house too. Thank you. Maximo? I live in a small house. Thank you. Elizabeth? Do you live in a small house or in a big house? I live in a small house. Thank you. Maricela? I live in a small house. Thank you. Arvin? I live in a small house. Thank you very much. Patricia? I live in a small house. Thank you. Esmeralda? I live in a small house. En Maritza. Maritza, do you live in a big house or in a small house? I live in a big house. Oh, thank you very much. Mm. Excellent. In some cases we say, I live in a small house. And when you think on the rooms that you have in your house, it's like, hey, my God. I have a lot of things in my house. I have a lot of space. Cuando nos ponemos a pensar cuántos cuartos tenemos o cuántas divisiones tenemos en casa, it's like, well, it is a, a small big house, <laughs> definitely. So here we have like kind of the definitions of the different rooms that we have in the house. In some cases, we divide one room to be like all the other rooms. But here, in this case, I am going to present you the different rooms of the house. Here, the first one that we have is the dining room, is the place where we eat with our family, right? The dining room is where we have the table and the chairs. We have also the kitchen, right? The kitchen is where you cook, okay? The kitchen. The laundry room is the place where you wash the clothes, right? The place where you wash your clothes. The living room is la sala, right? The living room. The stairs, in some cases we have in the house, are las gradas. The garage is where you put the car. And for sure, we can have a first floor and a second floor. Si tiene una casa de dos plantas, first floor, second floor. And you have the bedroom is the place where you sleep. The bedroom. It's the room for the bed, right? El cuarto de la cama, the bedroom. And you have the bathroom. It's the place for you to shower, right? The bathroom. The closet is where you put the clothes, right? The hall is pasillo, pasillo, right? And then you have the yard. The yard, it's a little garden that you have in front of your house. No sé si ha visto alguna vez, ustedes si han visto eh, 
en las casas, más que todo de Estados Unidos y de esos lugares que tienen un gran jardín al frente. Y todos le dicen la yarda, pero le dicen la yarda porque se llama yard in English. Right? It's the yard. And people in the United States say like, ¿a quién la yarda? Dice. And it's the yard, right? The garden, the front garden. And you can have a garden right at the back of your house here, like in El Salvador, right? That we have flowers and plants and things. And it is very common that we, for example, in the presential classes, you say, teacher, can I go to the bathroom? And that's incorrect because the name of that is restroom. Restroom is a bathroom, but public. And bathroom is private in your house. Okay. Oh, okay. So if you say, teacher, can I go to the bathroom? Y estamos en clases presenciales allá en el escalón. Creo que si vive en Soyapango se va a tardar un poquito. So the restroom, it's the place where you can go that it's public. So if you go to Metro Centro, if you go to Multiplaza or any other place that uh, um, it's public and you need to go to use the restroom, that's the name, restroom. Bathroom, it's in your house, private, right? And restroom, public. So that is something to keep in mind. Cuando volvamos a las clases presenciales, teacher, can I go to the restroom? And then you go out. No problem. I dream with that, to be in classes back again. The bedroom, the dining room, the living room. Practice the pronunciation with me, please. Open your microphones, everybody. And we're going to practice pronunciation. Dining room. Dining room. Living room. Kitchen. Kitchen. Laundry room. Laundry room. Stairs. 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 Garage. Garage. Or garage. Right? You have garage and garage. The two of them are correct. Living room. Living room. Yard. Yeah. Yeah. Bedroom. Bedroom. Bathroom. 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 Closet. 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 Stairs. 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 House. 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 First floor. First floor. First floor. Second floor. Second, Second floor. floor. Good job. Good job. Fantastic. Thank you. Now, we are going to go to the next question. What rooms do you have in your house? What rooms do you have in your house? That is the next question. What rooms do you have in your house? I made this one first, right? Esta fue la primera que le hice. Is your house big or small? And uh, on Friday, I remember, on Friday, on Thursday, I remember that I asked you, do you live in a house or in an apartment? And all of you live in a house, right? Todos vivían en casa. Nadie me dijo que vivía en apartamento. Yes or no? Si no, si me equivoco, me corrige. Yes. All of you live in a house. So my next question is, what rooms do you have in your house? And for this one, I need you please to take notes on your notebook and we are going to answer like this. And this is, a, this is my example. I need you to create your example. You can do it in the WhatsApp group, in the chat here in the class or in your notebook, if you cannot do it in other, in other place. You are going to create your little paragraph, okay? Ustedes van a crear su párrafo. Aquí les hice uno de ejemplo de eh, la casa. O sea, de otra casa, ¿verdad? no creo que la mía. <laughs> it says, my house is small, right? It, it doesn't have that many rooms. So what rooms are in your house? And in the example I have, my house is big. It has nine rooms. The living room, the kitchen, the dining room, the garage, uh, two bathrooms, two bedrooms, and the studio, right? This is the house. So these are the different rooms that I have in this house. And it says, what rooms are in your house? My house is big. It has nine rooms, the living room, the kitchen, the dining room, the garage, two bathrooms, two bedrooms, and the studio, right? Nine rooms. 
cuenten los cuartos que tiene su casa y cree el suyo. Right? You are going to do, my house is big or small. You change. It has, and you count the rooms. Si no se habían tomado el tiempo de contar cuántos tenían, ahora lo vamos a hacer. And you are going to write the names of them. ¿Dónde enviamos la respuesta? Puede ser en el chat de la clase, right there, on the WhatsApp group, or if you cannot do it in the two ways, on the notebook, ¿ok? Si no lo podemos hacer en ninguna de esas dos, en el cuaderno y lo leemos, ¿ok? Two minutes for this, go ahead. I am going to give you some minutes for you to do it. If you have questions, you can ask me and I'm going to help you. Describe your house. Describe your place. Vamos, todos trabajando, ya sea en el grupo de WhatsApp, ya sea en el chat de la clase o en el cuaderno, donde quieran. I'm going to be pendant to receive it. Okay, if you have any question, let me know. Miss, a question. Yes. Uh, dining room is where we eat. Yes, dining room is el comedor. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, we have one from Arvin on the chat. That's fantastic. It says, my house is small. It has, right? You say it has five rooms. Uh -huh. In this case, uh, Arvin, we say there are, there are, two bedrooms, one bathroom, the kitchen, and the living room. So we need to change they for there are, and it has, okay? Hagamos las correcciones ahí. Um, yes? Um, if we want to say like patio, backyard. The backyard, like the backyard, do you remember the, the mm -hmm. cartoon? Uh, okay. The backyard, or you can say the patio, patio, ah, okay. just like that. Okay. Or if you have it like a big thing with plants and flowers, it's a garden. Okay. You okay. have the three options. The backyard is solo el, el, la parte de atrás. No hay, no hay más nada. It's patio, small. it's a small, right? The patio okay. is where you don't have grass or anything. Solo es como cemento y hay un pedacito. Patio, the patio. Okay. And the garden is when you have flowers and things. Okay, thank you. Okay. Let's see, Gabriela says, my house is big. Uh, it has nine rooms. There are two living rooms. Hey, two living rooms, plural. The kitchen, the dining room, two bathrooms, three bedrooms, and a garden. Very good. Thank you, Gabriela, for your message. Maricela says, my house is small. It has six rooms. The garage, one bathroom, two bedrooms, one living room, and a garden. Very good. Maritza, oh, <laughs> Maritza needs to go out of the club. My house is small, says Luis. It has five rooms, the living rooms, the kitchen, two bedrooms, and the bathrooms, and a small garden, very good. Heidi says, my house is small. It has, tenemos que ponerle ahí, it has two rooms, one living room, no le ponemos the one living room, sino que solo dejémosle one living room, one kitchen, and the bathrooms. Si queremos mencionar que solo es un lugar, you can say the living room, the kitchen, the bathroom. Just that. Thank you very much, Heidi. We can make the corrections there. Perfect. 
N. Let me see if we have received anything on WhatsApp and we're going to correct. Okay, Luis, send it also in WhatsApp. That's very good. My house is small, it has five rooms. The living room, the kitchen, two bedrooms, and the bathrooms. Very good. And there we go with the next one. My house is small, it has three rooms. The living room, living room for me. The living room, the kitchen, two bedrooms, the bathrooms, and the yard. Very good job. And we continue receiving paragraphs. The next one is, my house is small, she says, Cynthia. And we are like in, we're waiting. I have two more here. Tirsa says, my house is small. Yes, uh, miss, I'm writing. Don't worry, continue. The, continue. Mecha, the message. Just left. Went. Yes, yes. I know. It happens, right? Cuando, cuando queremos darle entry, le damos enviar. Yes. <laughs> yeah. The house is small. It has two rooms, the living room, the kitchen, one garage. Garage is with G, G, right? Garage. And one bathroom. Si tenemos solo... One uh, bathroom, no le ponemos ese al final, one bathroom. And the next one, it says, my house is small, it has two rooms. The living room, kitchen, one bathroom, and a small garden. Good. So as you can see, now we are not just mentioning little things. We are giving complete information, right? Les pude haber preguntado que me dijeran cuáles eran los cuartos. Living room, kitchen, bathroom, bedroom. And that's it, right? No, in this case, you are giving complete information. Yeah, my house is small. I have this and this and this and that. Ahora, ese es como el principio de todo lo que vamos a ir haciendo. Ya vamos a seguir con esa información. Los que no lo han enviado todavía, mándenmelo que lo vamos a ocupar. So, let's continue here. I know that the parts of the house are very important. But also what it's important, it's what we have in each of the rooms of the house, right? There are uh, seven rooms, Cynthia says. Three bedrooms, the living room, the kitchen, the dining room, the bathroom, and a small backyard. Fantastic. So all the objects that we have at home. I know here in El Salvador, we have many different things at home, right? We have oof, infinity of things in our houses. But we are going to mention some of the objects that we have at home. And if you don't know any of the names of the objects, I am going to try to, to actually go deep on this one on the vocabulary. Let me see if I can forward it to you. Yes. I am sending you right now a document on the group that it's going to be very beneficial for everybody because it has a lot of vocabulary, right? On that document that I sent you, uh, you are going to see that it has a lot of vocabulary about the parts of the house. Take your time, maybe tomorrow, for, uh, for you to check it or later on uh, at night for you to have the opportunity to actually check all the vocabulary. In, you are going to see that uh, there are names for everything. Ahí, si se dan cuenta, los que ya lo abrieron, hay nombres para cada una de las cosas que tenemos en casa. Así que se van a dar gusto estudiando vocabulario. Aquí sí aprende porque aprende y un montón. We are going to go here. On the ones that I have presented, what are the objects that you can see in the pictures? ¿Qué objetos ven en... Eh, la imagen que les estoy mostrando. Chair. 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 Sofa. Sofa. Mirror. Mirror. Good. Bed. Beds. Good. Beds. Lamps. Lamps. Table. The table. The table. Desk. Excellent. The desk. Pictures. Pictures. TV. The clock. TV. The clock. Very good. Bed. The bell, good. Mirror. The mirror, the TV. Lamp. Desk. The desk, Mirror. the lamp. Oven. The, the microwave. Bookcase. The bookcase. Microwave Stop. oven. And we have the coffee table, right? The coffee okay. table. Picture. Curtains. 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 Pictures. Cur pictures. You say pictures. 
pictures. Pictures. Pictures. pictures. And the Picture. armchairs. The armchairs son los sofás que tienen bracitos, right? Los sofás que tienen bracitos. Those are arm, arm chairs, right? The ones that do not have arms, it's just chair, right? Los que no tienen para poner los brazos son solo chairs. Esos son armchairs porque tienen donde poner los brazos. <laughs> Things that you discover here is like, ah, oh, nice. And the sofa is big, right? It's for many people, like for two or three. Hitting El Salvador for four or five. <laughs> we all are in the sofa like, si cabe otro, siéntese. <laughs> and we like to sit down. The rug, the rug is alfombra, right? The rug, rug, it's alfombra, right? The sofa, television, desk, Desk, bed, desk, clock, lamps, lamps, pictures, pictures, curtains, curtains, microwave oven, microwave oven, chairs, please, chairs. Okay, this one is microwave oven. Microwave, microwave, microwave. Microwave oven. Microwave oven. Microwave oven. Microwave oven. oven. Yes. This one, only oven is horno. Microwave oven, it's horno. Microondas, right? So on the stove, on the stove, you have an oven too, right? On the stove, you have an oven as well. Armchairs. Armchairs. Table. Table is a normal table, right? But coffee table is the small one that we have in the center of the living room. The coffee table. Ahí donde ponen los muñequitos de vidrio. The dresser is gavetero, right? Dresser. It's the gavetero, right? Where you put everything. And the bookcase is librera. Okay, there you go. So we're going to practice everybody. Armchairs. Armchairs. Table. Table. Coffee table. Coffee table. Bookcase. Bookcase. Dresser. Dresser. Chairs. Chairs. Mirror. Mirror. Refrigerator. Refrigerator. Lamps. 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 Lamps, pictures, pictures, pictures. curtains, curtains. curtains. Clock. 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 Clock, bed, bed, desk, desk, desk. desk. sofa, sofa. sofa. Refrigerator. 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 refrigerator, refrigerator, refrigerator. refrigerator. <laughs> If it is too difficult, si se les hace muy difícil decir refrigerator, digamos fridge. 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 And you write it like this. Aquí se lo voy a poner abajo. Fridge. Fridge. Refrigerator. Refrigerator. Ajá, compliquémoslo un poquito. There is a refrigerator in the kitchen. <laughs> refrigerator in the kitchen. Teacher, qué mala. Refrigerator. Refrigerator. Listen, there is a refrigerator in the kitchen. Refrigerator in the kitchen. <laughs> Okay, there is a fridge in the kitchen. Fridge and the kitchen. The fridge in the kitchen. There is a fridge in the kitchen. It's easier. Good. The next one. Rug. 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 Mirror. 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 Television. Television. TV. TV. Very good. So, based on this one, right, we have now two parts of the of the class are going to be together. We have the different places of the house here and the different objects of the places. So this is going to lead us to the following part that it's the creation of uh, 
the little part of the grammar, right? Uh, We're going to go and let me go here. I am going to move. Uh, yeah, okay. So we did this one, right? We're going to use it. Now, we are going to go first with a little conversation. We're going to be mixing everything and then we are going to create a little bit more on this topic. Let's check on the conversation. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it has a living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Okay. Do you know all the meanings of all the words presented? ¿Conocemos todo el vocabulario presentado? If not, you tell oh. me. Okay? Tell guess. me. Yeah. Where is guess? Guess what? Uh -huh. Here in El Salvador, it's very common that when you have a very good gossip, you know what's the meaning of gossip? Gossip is chambre, right? The gossip. It's like, hey, guess what? Ah, what happened? It's like, in El Salvador, we say, hey, adivina. Adivina que? Right? That's the meaning of guess what? And for sure, when you say, guess what? The other person is going to be like, huh? Bling. Activated, <laughs> right? I have a new apartment. In El Salvador, we'll be like, Ay, that's great. <laughs> Chica, they say in El Salvador. That's great. <laughs> What's it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Like to have parties there or anything? No, it's very small, you say. It has a, a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? Donde está? On Lakeview Drive. Lakeview Drive is the name of the street, right? Oh, nice. The oh nice would be like, hey, que chivo. Does it have a view? Tiene vista? Right? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Tiene una gran vista del otro edificio enfrente. <laughs> so it doesn't have a view at all. Any other question? Guess what? That's adivina qué. Building is enfrente. The building is edificio. Ah, edificio. Yeah, when, when it says it has a great view of another apartment building, it's in front. It's another building. It's like uh, no view, right? So, questions? Three, two, one. No? Okay, let's practice pronunciation. I am Linda and you are Chris, okay? I know I am Linda. <laughs> I am Linda and you are Chris. Go ahead. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. That's great. That's great. What's like? That's great. That's great. That's great. That's what's, great. What's great. great. What is like? What's great. What is like? Listen, what's... what's what it's like. like. What's like. What's like. Or if you say, what what's, it like. what's it like? See, what's what? it like? Para que sea más fácil. What's it like? 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 like. Uh -huh. what's Para que no nos comamos ninguna de las palabras. What's, what's it what like? What's it like? What's it like? It's really beautiful. It's really it's very, very big. big. Is it is it very big? Is, is it very is big? It very big? Is it very big? Well, it, it big? has a big it living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? Where is where is it? Where is it? On Lakeview Drive. Oh, oh nice. nice! That is uh, that's that's nice. Nice. Uh, a view. Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. <laughs> okay, now I am going to switch. Vamos a cambiar para que practiquen también la otra parte. The next one, we go. 
Okay, you start. Ustedes comienzan. One, two, three, go. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? That's great. What's it like? It's very Ah, oh, is it very? Is it very big? Well, well it, it has, a, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a kitchen. Where is it? Oh, oh like on Lake 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 View Drive. Lake View Drive. Oh, nice. Lake View Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, yes, it is. Apartment. Okay, apartment. 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 It has. It has a great view. It has, it a, has a great, great, has a great, great view. view of another. Of, of another, another apartment. Apartment, apartment. building. 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 Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Yes, yes it does. Yes, it does. Uh, that's a great view of another apartment building. Ok. En inglés les voy a regalar ahí el tip. Cuando de repente tengamos una oración grande, recuerden que las oraciones las leemos hasta donde va el punto. Si de repente nos trabamos a leerla completa, vámonos primero. It has. It has a great view. It has a great view of. It has a great view of another. It has a great view of another apartment. It has a great view of another apartment building. Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. ¿Para qué? Su cerebro vaya ahí agarrando de que tiene que leer la oración completa, pero si no nos sale la primera, vámonos por poquito. Hasta que la logremos leer completa, you say, yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Y ahí le puedo ir poniendo la velocidad de lectura. Ok. okay. That's the, the tip for the night. Two volunteers, Juan Linda and Juan Cris. Juan Hernández. And Rosario, very good job. Go ahead. One, two, three, action. Guess what? I have an apartment. That's great. What is it like? It's really beautiful. It is very big. Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. What is it? Oak Lake B Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Very good job. Thank you very much. Reactions for your friends, please. Yay! Reactions, reactions. There you go. Ahí van. Son de gratis, vean. No nos cobran. There you go. Yes. Reactions. Okay. Pronunciation corrections. New apartment. Right? I have a new apartment. Right? The a next one. Apartment. Really beautiful. Beautiful. It's really, really beautiful. it's really beautiful. It's really beautiful. It's the really question. Is it very big? Is it very big? Right? It's not, it is. It's, is it very big? The next one, Lakeview, Lakeview Drive. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. The next one, uh, apartment building. Apartment building. Apartment building. Building. Listen, apartment. Apartment. Building. Building. Good. Two more volunteers. Two other volunteers. Raise your hand. Thank no teacher. You. Okay, Luis and I need another volunteer. Me teacher. Okay, Luis and Gabriela. And Luis and Gabriela, read like this. Action. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? 
It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? On a Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it's that. It's a, had a great view of another apartment building. Very good job. Thank you. Thank you, couple. You say, yes, it does. Yes, it does, right? It has a great view of another apartment building. Reactions for your friends, my dear students. Thank you very much. Very good job. And let's see. One more, just to finish with this practice. One more couple. No pareja más. Vamos en cinco, cuatro, tres, los escojo yo. Dos, uno. Volunteers, volunteers. Chin, chin, chin. Quien, quien, quien. Si no los escojo yo. Máximo, thank you very much. And Cynthia, thank you very much. Go ahead. My volunteers. <laughs> Okay, and guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lake View Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Very good job. It has a great view of another apartment building. Reactions for your friends, my dear students. Thank you very, very, very much. Start for you. It was great. Fantastic. So as you can see here, we have the description of everything what we did today, right? The different rooms, the bedrooms, and the different parts that we have in our houses. And here I am going to show you the questions that we were using for the class today. Here we have, do you, right? Do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do. No, I don't, right? Do the bedrooms have windows? Yes, they do. No, they don't. If I ask you the question, do your house has a lot of windows? Yes or no? Yes. Does your house yes, does. those does your house have a lot of windows? Yes, it does. Yes, yes, uh -huh. it does. And the question yes, is, how many windows do you have in your house? <laughs> Be like one, two, three, four, five. Uh -huh. There are uh, yeah, brother, six, 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 seven windows. How seven windows. windows. Oh, how windows. Okay. Eight windows. Eight windows. If I ask you, how many doors do you have in your house? Oh my God, you say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine doors. I have nine doors. Five doors. That's door. only two doors. That's cool. You don't open and close that much. That's fantastic. Let's see. Look for things. Ah, yeah. That's the simple doors. <laughs> <laughs> the next one we have, does Chris live in a house? In the conversation, do you remember? Does Chris live in a house? Yes, he does or no, he doesn't. Do you remember the conversation? Yes, I do. He has a house or a new apartment? New apartment. She has a new apartment. He has a new apartment, right? And let me see. And in the in the house, in the description and the conversation, does the house have a yard? Does the no. house have a yard? No. No. No, right? Only a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, a bathroom. and a kitchen. And kitchen. Just that, right? No yard. No, and, so. right in this case when you have do you you use the normal form of the verb for you we and they right and i 
For he, she, or oh, it, you use thus. Right? Thus, Chris, and the verb is normal. Thus, the house, and the verb is normal. So, do lo ocupamos for I, you, we, they, and thus for he, she, and it. Remember that. Here I have a little exercise that says, do you live in an apartment? And it says, no, I don't. No, I don't, right? No, I don't. I live. I live in a house. What will be the question for the next one? Does it has a yard? Okay, we have does. It have. Have, because no. si ya usamos el auxiliar, ya no lo cambiamos, okay? Si ya, okay, let me, okay. Sorry, I, I close on microphones. Eh, si ya usamos el auxiliar, ponemos el verbo en su forma normal. Does it have a yard? Yes, it. ¿Cómo acabamos de hacer la pregunta? ¿Con qué auxiliar la hicimos? Does. Aha, so the answer would be yes, it does. That sounds nice. You alone. Do or does? Do you live? Do you live alone? Right? Do you live alone? And it says, No, I, I don't. No, I don't. Right? No, I don't. I, I live. I live. With my with family. My family. Any brothers or sisters? Do yes. or does? Do. If you have you. Do. Do you, do you, do you, do you do have you? Do you have, have any brothers? Do you have any brothers? Very good. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, I. Yes, I do. I do. Yes, I do. I have. I have. <laughs> I have, I have four sisters. Four sisters. That's a big family. A big house. Do you have, have? Do you have? Very good. Do you have a big house? Yes, we do. do. Yes, we do. It has rooms. It has. It has. Exactly. Has. Porque es afirmativo en tercera persona. It has 10 rooms. 10 rooms. Many bedrooms. Does. Does it? Has. Tenemos el auxiliary. Very good. Does it have many bedrooms? Yes, it. Does. Yes, it does. It. Has. 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 has it has four you your own bedroom do do you have do you have do you have your own bedroom yes i do do yes i do i am really lucky right so if i ask you do you live in an apartment you are chris do you live in an apartment? No. 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 I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. Does it have a yard? Yes. Yes. Yes, it do. yes, it. No, no digamos do. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Okay. Ya tenemos como la tarea de todas estas clases. Vea. Parents, does. <laughs> right? <laughs> we have the second one. Does that sounds nice? Do you live alone? No, no, I, don't. I, don't. I don't. I don't. I live with my family. my family. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, I do. I, do. I, I have, have, I have sisters. four sisters. I have four sisters, right? That's a big family. Do you have a big house? Yes, we yes, do. Yes, we do. We have such a big room. 10 rooms. Does it have many bedrooms? Yes, yes it does. It, does. it has it has four. Has four. Do you have your own bedroom? Yes, yes, yes I, do. I do. I am really, I am really, I am really lucky, right? I am really lucky. 
Very nice. So here you have the, the use of do and does. Remember, if we use the auxiliary, the normal verb is going to be needed for the sentences, right? Let's do the final exercise. And in this one, I am going to go here, right? This is the one we did. And, oh no, this is the first one that we had together, okay? So in this one, this is the one that I wanted to do. For tomorrow, for tomorrow, I need you to choose one of the rooms in your house. Van a escoger uno de los cuadros de su, uno de los cuartos de su casa y vamos a describir qué objetos hay en él. Okay? You say, in the example I have here. Let's say, my living room has a sofa, a rug, a television. We can have flower pots. Uh, windows, uh, magazines, books, a bookcase, and all the other objects that you have in one room. Okay, vamos a escoger uno de los cuartos de nuestra casa y vamos a describir todos los objetos que tengamos ahí. No vayan a escoger ahí la bodega porque ahí metemos de todo. <laughs> so you say, my dining room has, and you describe everything, like the refrigerator, the kitchen, the table, chairs, etc. <laughs> so I need you to choose one of the rooms and describe it, okay? Traigan su descripción lista para el día de mañana porque la vamos a ocupar en la clase, okay? Okay. okay. Take, take one of the rooms that you have in your house. Okay, one of the rooms. And we are going to do it uh, in tomorrow's class. Okay, so it has been all for today. It was a pleasure for me to see you, to be with you, to share and everything. Les deseo una excelente semana y nos vemos mañana. Same Thanks, time. teacher. Thank you. Thank see you, you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.